What is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and we are checking back in from SeaWorld Orlando for another Pipeline the Surf Coaster construction update. It's Halloween! Yeah, exciting stuff. Not so spooky though. But uh, a little warm today. Temperatures somewhere in the 80s again. No chance of rain though. And that turnaround, the pipeline, looking awesome. I can already see a couple changes up at the very top. They're adding some bracing and that is going to be for netting, unfortunately. But hey, it's gonna be near guests, so they gotta do something about it. Front entrance, ticket windows, not busy. Security was a breeze, same with parking. And we're getting up close to this thing. Unfortunately, I don't see a crane in the air right now. So I don't think they're gonna be adding any more track. Unfortunately, I also didn't get here on Friday. So they added a couple more segments, as we can see right there, since our last update and a couple other supports also. Looks good though. Yep, like usual, no way to get through, and we are on our way. One of the last days that we're going to see all of the fall decorations for Halloween and whatnot up as tomorrow, November 1st. So I do expect a lot of Christmas stuff to be going up very, very soon within the next week. I'm excited for it. Park is pretty busy for a Monday. I know it is a holiday, but not one that normally people take off for, but Halloween here at SeaWorld, nice. Yeah, it's pretty. Signage is now up for SeaWorld's Christmas celebration. Sea of Trees with some stats. Almost eight miles of garland, 10 miles of cable that powers and controls the lights. It would take over three million household Christmas lights to create the Sea of Trees performance. Heights range from 10 to over 70 feet and trees are planted in up to 14 feet of water. They're right over there. There's gonna be more bridge views. And for me, this is gonna be the last time for about a week as I'm going up to Maryland for a race. We do hope to have some updates while I'm gone though. Just look at that thing, that turnaround looks amazing. Almost looks like an inversion. But crews are out there adding some brackets, again for netting. And I see a support on the ground over there by that gentleman, but I don't see any track. Stationary looks to be about the same as last week. Same with uh, maintenance barn, break run area. And of course the area over there with all the foundations. But this is looking pretty good. I'm hoping that they're gonna finish all of this bracing for the netting sometime within the next couple days and then they will pick up some of the track construction and supports right here. It's gonna hop over that little area for the hop on the launch and then continue on for the airtime hill and then the corkscrew over in that way.
All right, I take that back. Maybe we are doing some stuff with supports today as the crane is moving into position and we do have some crew members on the ground. Well, it looks like our good friends the Surf Fishies are out today. Hi guys. Sky Tower and unfortunately, yet again, have not seen a test in a very long time, a couple weeks now, and it has been closed since the hurricane over a month ago. If anybody knows anything else, let us know. So yeah, see a tree is looking good. We saw a lighting test in recent videos. And Bayside Stadium, we told you, the ice was getting ready and rehearsals would be starting soon. And sure enough, there's some skaters on the ice right now. In addition to the annual ice skating show, Christmas on Ice, we're gonna have the public skating again so guests can try out. And then we have it over here, fireworks. So a new fireworks show, exciting stuff. So this year, I think it's gonna be a good event. about 2 45 and all of the guys that were helping build the ride well they have left the construction site so I don't think that we're going to be placing any supports today just getting things prepped for tomorrow whatever this thing is supposed to be it's still behind work walls nothing's changed infinity falls and currently looks like it's down Boats are all stacked up, nobody's on them. Water's running. Yeah, right is not. Mako! Currently in operation, showing a 15 minute wait. Not terrible. Again, park is a little bit busier, but you can tell it's not bad when Mako has a 15 minute wait. 
previous updates, we showed you some work was going on over here for the patio area. Looks like the awning is completely off now. We do have some new stuff right there under tarps so. though. And they're painting it. So you see this netting right here on Mako? Same thing is going on Pipeline the Surf Coaster. Expect to see it whenever the ride gets close to the pathways, just like here. Sky Tower, come on, do something. Reopen, please. You guys have been patiently waiting for some drone views. Let's give them to you now, shall we? Manta, pink chickens, good to see you guys. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna see you for over a week. Be good, we're all here about it. Weirdly enough, nobody fancies a swim today, just shade. Well guys, that's gonna do it for another video here from SeaWorld Orlando for Pipeline the Surf Coaster. Cruise added a bunch of new track, about four pieces, three new supports to the layout since our last update, and things are getting ready for more track and support placement. We're gonna be here sometime during the week, not me personally, but we'll have some sort of update for you. Manta doing the flyby, of course. Christmas celebration is about to start up very soon, and we're gonna have plenty more updates from here. So if you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Midway Mayhem. We'll see you out on the Midway, guys. Bye.